Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. This is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so this is going to be the final um, video, the final part of hashtag Sun Life Drawing in February, which I have been co-hosting with the beautiful Lisa from Lisa's Colouring Corner. Um, honestly guys, if you have not checked out her channel yet, I will put the link down below. Please go and check out her channel. She is just the loveliest person. She is an absolute queen with glitter gel pens and she is just an all-round amazing person and if if um you know like my depression or my anxiety is rearing its ugly head lisa's is the first channel that i will go to and i will binge watch some of her older videos i just really enjoy feeling like i have her company so please go and check her out Okay, so we are going to be finishing up our page from the Travel Mosaic Colour by Numbers book. This is by Sun Life Drawing. And we were working on this one. This is how far we got. And we were using our beloved da -da -da, Crayola Super Tips, which I have here. These are the colours that I've used so far. So we are now, I think, on to number 10. <clears throat> so let me zoom you in I hope that's not too close I hope that's okay right so number 10 is yellow orange and let's see here so how have you all been I hope you're all doing well I'm sorry it's been really quiet here on the channel lately um, it's just been a really busy week and I have been recovering from the flu. Um, I am feeling so much better now, which I'm really thankful for. Um, and then we had my youngest. It was her birthday on Wednesday. I'm filming this on Friday the 28th of February. So I've just stuck on some nails and I thought, right, let's get these videos done because I'm I'm falling behind I've been really slack <clears throat> so like I said I really wanted to um to get these videos done get this page finished before I record my um February completed pages video um and then I have some requested videos to do as well so it's all go all busy busy i've got nail glue i need to kind of file it off i've got it sort of stuck all here on my finger um so what have you all been up to how's your week been and do you have any plans for the weekend we are going to be sorting out the girls room the weekend i've blitzed Caden's room last week literally sort of top to bottom and got rid of like maybe two thirds of a black bag full of crap <laughs> so yeah his room is uh, looking lovely now so the girls have had many chances to tidy their room and get stuff sorted and they haven't so I will be going in there over the weekend and um, blitzing it and I said to them I'm going in with black bags so you have been warned so <laughs> yeah I just I, I like everything to be clean and tidy and organized and their room is the complete opposite it's an absolute disarray at the minute but then I know kids rooms get untidy sometimes but this is just on another level so <laughs> I don't know 
So for those of you who have been participating in our colour along, the hashtag Sun Life Drawing in February, thank you so much for joining in with us. I truly appreciate it so much and it's been lovely seeing all of your beautiful pages that you've been tagging me in on Instagram. Um, I've seen some beautiful pictures on Facebook. I've seen more, I think, on Instagram. Um... But yeah, just thank you so much for sharing them. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed admiring everyone's pictures. You've all done such an amazing job. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, I am going to be hosting um, again this year. <clears throat> hashtag May Morphia. So in the month of May, I know we're a few months off yet, but for the month of May, um, I will be colouring from any of Kirby Rosani's books. Um, last year, the hashtag was May Morphia. This year, it will be hashtag May Morphia 2020. And I think that is something that I might actually consider doing now on an annual basis because I did really enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll be an annual thing that I do now. And then, of course, October, um, I co-host with the beautiful Shalene from The Colouring Book Nook. And we co-host um, Carloween, where for the month of October, we colour from any of Carla Magana's books. So... Um, but I know at the end of last year and I, I said, you know, I'm not going to plan anything for next year. I'm not going to arrange any colour alongs. I'll just see kind of as and when. Um, I'm not sure about March. Um, and because it's only, you know, like two days away. Um, I really haven't thought of anything, to be honest. So maybe we'll skip March and do something in April. Um... Because I do, I have got um, whips that I really want to work on. So I think I'll do that for the month of March. Um, you know, work on my whips and the requested videos. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to, I don't want to put pressure on myself to try and come up with a colour along. I'm just, you know, just taking it, taking it as it comes. So we are doing that I'm feeling really calm and relaxed at the moment which is nice um, Aaron's nipped out to pick up a bit of shopping and then he's going to get the little ones from school um, of course Tegan gets the school bus so she'll be home in about, um, about half an hour I imagine 20 minutes to half an hour um, but Friday nights Aaron and I do what we call date night but we haven't done one for a few weeks because we've just not been feeling great <coughs> excuse me and um, you know we don't we don't go out anywhere we don't we don't do that we're still at home with the kids but what we do is once they're settled, we have we cook a meal for us. So we'll sit together and like do a really nice meal. You know, we'll buy something nice for our dinner for that evening. And um, yeah, we'll we'll cook a meal together and then we'll sit and while we're eating our dinner, we'll sit and watch a film or something together. It's really nice, really, really lovely. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't cost much at all. The majority of the time we'll just use stuff that we've got at home but this week i bought some steak so we are having that for dinner tonight i believe but then saying that though um aaron did say about picking up some quiche so maybe we'll do the quiche tonight and have the steak tomorrow um but yeah, we we do that. We you know we sort the kids out and everything, and then once they're settled for the night, we do our dinner, and then sit and snuggle up with our dinner and watch a movie or you know a program. But I have been 
binge watching The Walking Dead lately. <laughs> Never something I thought I would watch. I think I watched maybe like one or two episodes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, quite some while ago, and I I was like I I, I can't. It's awful. <laughs> um, but I really really wanted to get into it and see what all the fuss was about. Um, and. Aaron and I, I mean, he's he's all up to date, um, although he hasn't been watching any of series season 11, I think, which is the new one that's on at the moment, um, because we want to get caught up and then watch that one together, um, but yeah, bless him, Aaron's been watching it with me, we've been binge watching The Walking Dead, and we are now halfway through season four, I believe, so we are getting there, and honestly, guys, I've done, like just completely changed my mind i love it absolutely love it so for those of you who are walking dead fans please don't please don't tell me anything that happens in the future um but yeah i'm kind of like halfway through season four now um we have just watched the episode where um it follows the governor for the whole episode sort of following him after the whole Westbury thing um or no Woodbury that's it Woodbury um yeah following him after that we've just watched that episode but yeah I'm really really enjoying it <clears throat> I thought season three was um not the strongest out of like the up until season three I, I didn't I thought season one and two were much better, um, but yeah, I'm I'm really really thoroughly enjoying it. So I never would have thought zombies would have been my thing, <laughs> but I'm absolutely loving it. It's crazy, isn't it? How you know things change. Okay, so now we want number eleven, which is yellow. Um, so we're working. Excuse me, we're working on this, still working on this temple thing. So let's go in. And like I said, I'm using Crayola Super Tips. And I have had a few comments from people saying that they've found that using their Crayola Super Tips on this paper, the paper has been pilling. Um, my advice to you is to try not to go over the same area you know twice or more than twice with your super tips because this is really thirsty and porous paper and obviously these are water-based markers it's just going to suck that liquid um and the paper is going to be really absorbent and you know sucking the ink really quick so i find you do have to work quite quick with your super tips so for me personally that is the trick it's just to try and work quite quickly and what I tend to do is for the little details I use the tip so if you see here you've got like a point here on your super tip but then on the edge you've got sort of like it's flat here I tend to have that part against the paper a lot more because it covers more area and quicker um, but when I'm sort of outlining and getting into the little fiddly bits, I will use the tip. <clears throat> so I find personally that's, you know, the beautiful thing about the super tips is that, you know, you can get different line thicknesses with it as well. I would never be without super tips. I absolutely love them. And I will be doing a video... Um, because this has been requested from a few people actually, even though I have done this before in previous videos, I will film a specific video showing how I um, shade with pencil over um, super tips and, you know, alcohol markers. I will do a video showing that. It will just be a regular colour and chat, but I will be showing, you know, how I put the super tips down and then how I go over the top with pencils so I hope those of you who've been asking about that I hope you know that you find that video helpful 
try and get it filmed. It'll probably be next week now. Because, like I said, we're going to be spending the weekend sorting out the girls' room. So we're going to be quite busy. Um, and I do really want to get back to live streaming as well. I've missed, missed it so much. Um, you know, with being poorly and just... My anxiety was playing up before I got poorly. There was just other stuff going on. And I really kind of... I don't know. I just feel like my confidence was knocked a little bit. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I think I was just doubting myself. But there's no particular reason why. And I just started... I don't know. I was thinking to myself, well, I'm, I'm just not going to be good company. Nobody's going to want to keep me company you know while I'm feeling down and probably feeling sorry for myself and stuff so <laughs> our brains work in funny ways don't they what is under here it's, it's like a little lump there and I'm catching it on the paper Okay, so I'm just using the side of the super tip now to go up this long section here. Like that. Um, I'll have to do the same here as well. So let's just get that bit. Um, and also, <clears throat> I would really appreciate any feedback actually. Um my youngest bless her heart has said that she wants to do a youtube channel she was five on wednesday <laughs> so we've been thinking about maybe doing a coloring channel um but for kids so this will be the adult channel you know where I just carry on as I am and, you know, do the live streams and stuff like that. But we are considering doing Kate's Colouring Haven Junior for kids. So, in those videos, my youngest and I, we would do colouring together. We'll buy the, um, do you know, like the, the paint your own money boxes and stuff like that. We were thinking of doing things like that. So, at the minute, it is just an idea. But any feedback, you know, whatever, you know, what you guys think and whether you think it's something maybe your children, your grandchildren would be interested in if, if they like art and colouring and things like that, you know, do you think they would enjoy it? Um, just, yeah, any feedback on that thought would be so much appreciated i think it's adorable that she um that she wants to do a channel with me so yeah it would be you know obviously the same channel name as this but just with junior on the end so you would know the difference between this one and the kids channel but it is like i said it is just an idea But, yeah, I thought, oh, she's just you know, just saying it, you know, because she she likes that mummy does videos and things like that. She, you know, she gets really excited about it. But she's she's really enthusiastic about it. And, I, you know, I think it's so lovely that she wants to be involved, you know, and she wants to do these things. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll just do like a couple of test runs and see see how they go. We won't upload them at first. We'll just, you know, watch them back and see, see what's what. But yeah, bless her heart. I think that is such a cute idea. <clears throat> I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm colouring at a really funny angle. So like I said, it was her birthday 
on Wednesday. Um, so she got up in the morning, she opened, you know, most of her presents and her cards and stuff. And then um, we made sure to get her a card that had a badge on it so she could wear that to school. So off she went to school and then um, when she came home, she didn't know she had two um, like bigger bigger presents and I had to set them up in the living room because we haven't done their girl's bedroom yet but we bought her a tent and it's got drapes all the way around it that you can tie back or whatever it's got like a, a beautiful um triangular roof with sort of scalloped edges um and it is a hexagon yeah it's a hexagon shape it is stunning and then it's got fairy lights that you can put all the way around the roof um so we set that up for her and we also bought her because she's forever sort of sat brushing her hair and pretending to do makeup and stuff we bought her a pink vanity table and it's really beautiful it's got like little hearts scalloped in it around the um on the top of the mirror and on the little stool that it comes with and the legs on it is scalloped. They sort of they come in like that, and then kind of come back out, or no, out, and then in, and then a little curve on the bottom. That's it. So it's really, really, really pretty. And oh, her little face when she came into the living room when she got home from school. Oh, she just, it was just priceless. Absolutely priceless. Okay, so now we are looking for number 12, which is a yellow green. So let's go with this one. Number 12. I imagine we're going to have it here, not near these trees, I think. Let me see. Okay, we've got some bushes here. Let's do that. Oh, it's a bit darker than a yellow green, but that's all right. That's all right. But yeah, I really want to get this page finished. I'm just, I'm so sorry it's taken me a while to get this filmed. So I'm kind of doing an end of the month catch up on videos at the moment. I'm trying to catch up and then when I'm setting up my bullet journal for March I can make a, a list an up-to-date list of videos I need to do for that month and write down the requests and stuff I've had if you've left me a comment on YouTube and I haven't clicked the heart button to acknowledge that I've seen it or if it was a question, if I haven't replied to you yet, please just give me time. I am, I am getting there. I promise. I did catch up a few days ago, but I've kind of just the last few days, I've just let it, let it slide. Um, so I really need to get on that. So I'm hoping if. Um, I'm awake super late tonight. I'm hoping not to be up and trying to get into a, a, a normal sleep pattern. But if for any reason I am, then I will use that opportunity to catch up on comments. So I will be doing that. I know I've had requests to colour from certain books and using certain mediums and things like that. Um, and I did use some of my, I've used some of my YouTube pennies for this month to, um, to get one of the books that was requested. Um, so I've done that. I've used the money for that. And then, um, I've also been asked about these alcohol markers, but I, I need to go back and find the comment because I didn't write them down. So I will use the pennies to get those as well. Um, so you know that the money that I get from YouTube, it's only, you know, it's only a small amount, but, um, you know, it goes back into the channel to bring you guys things that you want to see, you know, if you want to see me colouring a certain book and things, it's like the, um, 
the Shades of Kawaii book as well. I didn't have that, but I purchased it because I was requested to colour from it using alcohol markers. And, you know, you guys are so supportive and encouraging of me and my channel. Um, so it is only right that any pennies that I earn from YouTube goes straight back into the channel to bring you guys what you want to see. And that makes me feel good being able to do that. But if it wasn't for you guys watching the videos, clicking the thumbs up button, sharing my videos, um, you know, if it wasn't for you guys doing all that, um, then, you know, that, th that wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much for the support and the love and encouragement. It means so much to me. Okay, so it looks like we've got oh, this dry glue on my fingers is really driving me crazy. I'm going to have to get an emery board out and just get that off after this video. For any of you who have used glue on nails, do you do that? <laughs> As you're gluing them on, you sort of your fingers stick together and then you've got like dry glue here. Yeah, I've got a lot on that one as well. Oh well, the joys of wanting pretty nails. I've tried so many times to grow mine and um, I get so far and then I just revert back to my old ways of, you know, when my anxiety and stuff is kicking in, I bite my nails and, you know, if I'm worried or anything like that. And I shouldn't, I, I really want my own natural beautiful nails but for now we use glue-ons <laughs> and they're pretty and they're so much cheaper than getting acrylics put on We are still waiting anxiously for Luna to have her babies. They are not making an appearance. But we've said if she hasn't had them by like the middle of next week, then we're going to take her to the vets. And just get her and the babies checked out. Make sure everything's good. Because she, you know, we've kind of tried working it out and we've... Uh, certain that she's definitely overdue by now so I don't want to let her go too long okay I love the bright vibrant colours that Sun Life Drawing chooses for these colour by number books they're gorgeous really really nice palette and they're so beautiful and vibrant once they're all coloured in. Absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, I'm using the tip to go in around the edge. And then the flat bit of the super tip. <clears throat> so tip to go on the edges and then the side where we've got that wider bit of the nib there you go okay do we have any 12s up here don't think we do but I am still keeping all of my colours to the side so that if I've missed any numbers the colours are there I'm just going to take a sip and then we'll carry on I really do want to get this um, finished on camera with you right number 13 is green so let's go for Let's go for this one. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was a bit tough. 
okay, 13. We've definitely got 13s over here in the tree. We'll just do that and zoom you in a little bit more. I hope that's okay. So, oh, this is, um, okay, this is quite dark. It's darker than I wanted, actually. It's okay. It's okay. We have got darker greens than that, so we're good. So this is green. And number 14, our next colour is dark green. So... just thinking as well I've got two books upstairs that I've completed pages in um, last night and today so I need to bring those down for the completed pages video as well if you hear background noise when the kids are coming home then I'm sorry <laughs> but and this is home life. I've got some YouTube videos I need to catch up on too. Fallen a little bit behind <coughs> with those as well. And um, I've been quiet on Messenger as well. I've just... I, I don't know. I think... Uh, while I've been kind of getting over the flu and stuff, um, I don't know, it, it's really difficult to explain. Um, I've had a few busy days this week, which really took it out of me. Um, but it was nice to be productive. Um, so yeah, like I said, this week has been busy. But if any of you, you know, chat to me on Messenger and I've been quiet, I am really sorry. I'm going to try and get better. Um, but I've been finding as well that also trying to get into a, a good sleep pattern, um, you know, that's been kind of keeping me off Messenger as well, especially like super late at night. <clears throat> when there's some of you that that's the time that like, you know, we really sort of chat and catch up and stuff um but because i've been taking um some medicine to try and help me sleep um i've been taking that about 10 o'clock at night and then honestly by 11 i'm out for the count um so yeah i'm i'm really sorry but i promise i will you know, I will make more of an effort. I've just been really slack with a lot of things lately. Um, some more thirteens here. Whoops! I'm sorry. I'm moving the page around everywhere. Um, yeah, but I will definitely, you know, definitely try and get on top of that and get better. With it. I started a page last night in the um, the Colouring Heaven Dreamtime special where the illustrations in that one are by Hannah Carlson and oh, it feels so nice to be using alcohol markers on one of Hannah's pages because I don't I don't use them in her books because obviously I don't want the bleed through because I like every single one of her images. Um, but it's really nice to have that option with, you know, a Colouring Heaven magazine with some of her images in where you can use your alcohol markers because the pages are single sided. So, yeah, I, I was just so excited to be able to do that last night. It's the, the little things, isn't it? Little things that make you smile. So, yeah. Okay. I 
and yeah I definitely want to get this finished on camera with you <clears throat> it's, it might take a little while but it would be nice to have one of these pages that I've done sort of start to finish with you all you know so that would be nice okay let's come down here so we've got some 13s here so let's get those Yeah, today I um, coloured a page in the Macaron Sketchbook by Carla Magana. So I coloured a page in there. And it took me all of about 20 minutes. It didn't take long at all. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. I've left, you know, not done a background or anything. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do that or not. And I thought, well, because I'm not sure, we'll leave it. And then if I change my mind, I can come back to it later. Okay, so we've got quite a few 13s over here. So let's start up here on the tree. Oops. And there we go. Let's move you into frame. Let's just move that light a little bit as well. Is that better? So if you have any other colour by number books by any company or illustrator, which ones do you have? Because I find colour by numbers so relaxing. I really do, you know, because you don't have to think about colours and things. It's already picked for you. And they're definitely my go-to comfort blanket books, as I call them, you know, when my anxiety and stuff is playing up you know, my colour by numbers or simpler books, um, more so my colour by numbers, they're definitely my go-to, my go-to comfort blanket. Okay, I've got quite a few 13s here. So let's get those. So, yeah, I have um, obviously some of the Sun Life Drawing ones. I have Disney, Coloriage, Mr. Res, and Coloriage Magique, I think. And then I have Beautiful Colour by Numbers. That's by Felic compiled by Felicity James. And then I have two Creative Haven ones. To Creative Haven, Colour by Numbers as well. I also have um, a Quackles book. Um, it's kind of like a Colour by Number. You have numbers 1 to 5. 1 being your darkest colour, 5 being your lightest. You can use any colours you want, just as long as they go from darker to lighter. So that's really fun. But oh my gosh, those books are huge. They are huge, but I definitely want to collect them. Um, I'm sure I saw one with, I'm sure it had Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe on the front. I'd love to get that one. Um, and I'll tell you what else looks really good as well, which I think would be great books for stress relief, is these Spiroglyphics. I don't have any of them, but they look great. They look really good. But I must, um, I must thank Courtney because if it wasn't for her asking me to colour from Shades of Kawaii for her, um, which I purchased to do that colouring chat from, oh my gosh, I am in love with those books. So I've now been looking on Amazon 
<laughs> for books similar and I've found some um they're called Tokidoki I don't know if any of you have them <clears throat> but oh my gosh they are just so cute so <clears throat> I definitely want to be getting some more kawaii books like those the other two shades of kawaii and the Tokidoki books because oh my gosh so cute so cute I'm just I can hear one of the cats meowing and I'm just <laughs> I'm looking we've got Louie on the arm of the sofa Luna and Stitch are cowed up in Emmy's tent and Link is in the window probably looking out for Aaron and seeing where daddy is bless him so I'm now going in number 14 is dark green so I'm using a really really dark green but I think this will be a nice contrast against all the bright colours that we've got down so far there will be more colours going into this page as well but I put the heating on as well because it is ridiculously cold I've missed a number 13 here so let's quickly do that one <clears throat> There we go. Okay, back to the number 14s. Oh, we've got some here. Um, yeah, so all the cats are in here with me. The heating is on because, like I said, it is so cold. So, so cold. Um, and I think they've even forecast... Um, I know there's a, a yellow weather warning in place for the weekend for high winds but Aaron said that on um, the news that he had on one of the weather forecasts um, it forecast snow right you probably hear the front door go now because that's my daughter's school bus outside so you will probably hear her come in Listing out for her. There we go. <laughs> I said to you the front door would be going. So everyone is home and in the warm now. The heating is on so they can all get dry and warm because it is way too cold outside. Way too cold. get all these dark green colours there we go and that one Yeah, so everyone's everyone is home now. 
I'm sorry, I went quiet there for a minute. I was just making sure that everyone was okay. my gorgeous assault lamp to the side of me and I put that on as well so it's giving a really beautiful glow really nice sort of ambience to it Aaron bought me oh, quite some time ago he bought me a small a small little salt lamp um but the base of it doesn't work anymore so when you turn it on it the light doesn't do anything so we've kept the actual salt rock we've kept that but like I said the base doesn't work but we found a beautiful one on Amazon that we bought for the bedroom and oh it's stunning and it was such a good price as well it's ridiculous it was ridiculous and then I was like oh my gosh I love it I would love to get one for my desk for my work area because I just find it so relaxing um and especially if, you know, if I'm not recording and I'm just, just sort of sat at my desk diamond painting or colouring or whatever, just having that lamp on just gives it such a beautiful warm glow. Well, anyway, the lamp that we had bought for the bedroom, they had exactly the same on a lightning deal on Amazon down to £9 something. So I snatched it up at that price. So I now have one as big as the one in the bedroom, just here to the side of me, just just there. I'll have to show you towards the end of the video, but yeah, it's really lovely. So, but we've said we do want to get a few more salt lamps. Um, another one for the bedroom and maybe two for the living room. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But um, yeah, they're they're really really beautiful. I don't know if any of you have them, but yeah, we love them. Absolutely love them. And Aaron's really into um like crystals and things like that. So watching Stitch and Link. They're playing but being a little bit boisterous so just watching them Louis's still up on the arm of the sofa <laughs> he's just chilling out watching what's going on as i've said to you guys before Louis is my eldest cat he's eight and um yeah he just he likes the quiet life he's very much a mummy's boy very very much a mummy's boy but um yeah he just he likes the quiet life you know but even as a kitten he was never one for playing or anything he was always so timid and nervous um but yeah now he just he's happy to just sort of snuggle up on the sofa with a blanket and he's happy. But the other cats were playing the other day and tried getting Louie involved and he wasn't having any of it. But then it turned into quite a big, a big, um, a big scrap between them. And then it was sort of like all of them against Louie and I was just like, no, 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 no. So I had to sort of get in between all the cats to break them up because the boisterousness just got a bit too got a bit too much you know no one got hurt but it was just yeah a bit a bit, a bit too full on for my liking Link just went over to Louie and Louie's just hissed at him as if to say like leave me alone I'm sat here quietly minding my own business 
so bless him um i've got juice thank you i'm all right thanks love are the kids all right seems quite a lot of number 14s but like I said that dark colour just breaks up breaks up all the brighter colours a bit which is nice I'm making sure I've still got you in frame because of how zoomed in I am if you find that this is a bit too much um, with being zoomed in like this let me know um, but I just wanted to try to see if um, you know just try something different see if being zoomed in like this is helpful for you guys out there as well you know who've been asking about the super tips just so you can see how i'm using them on this paper i'm not too concerned about going out the lines i'm trying to avoid it but if i do i do i know lisa um, does sort of all the lines in between first with a silver gel pen and it acts as kind of like a, a barrier so if you go to go over the lines that silver gel pen stops it which is such a great idea um, so she does that first before she colours her shapes so I need to remember to try that I did on, on one of the other pages I coloured it first and then I went in all the lines with a oh my gosh what what was it um oh pencil hybrid dual metallic I went in with one of those and it was the I think it was the blue the blue gel ink with the green glitter and I love it I love the pen but I just didn't think it worked as well as I was hoping it would on the lines but the beautiful Nikki from Nikki and Niagara she said to me um, that if you use a lighter colour gel pen it looks better so I'm going to try that I think <clears throat> so yeah Nikki um, gave me that tip bless her so I'm definitely going to try that and Nikki is another channel as well, guys. If you haven't checked her out, please do. She's, again, just such a really, really wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, and she does colour in chats and flip-throughs and hauls. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out Nikki in Niagara, then please do so. There's so many fantastic channels out there, you know. And I think it's nice when we support and encourage each other, you know. Get the community back to what it used to be, you know. You know, I want the, the colouring community and, you know, my channel. I want it to be a place where you guys feel safe and secure and happy and comfortable um you know when i get back to live streaming i know there's some of you who you don't like to chat in live streams that is absolutely fine there is never ever any pressure here for you to do so if you just want to watch and listen or color you know color while you're listening that's absolutely fine and then if you just want to if you want to see what the conversation was all about at a later time you can go back to the live stream in the description box click on the arrow down it will bring the description up for you and if you click on live chat you'll then be able to see what people were typing so you can see you know who i was replying to and whatnot so that's just something <clears throat> you know if you want to do that then that's something you can do as well but like i was mentioning earlier about um kate's coloring haven junior let me know what you think i would be really really interested to see what you guys think of that and whether you think it's a good idea um you know 
just be nice to get some feedback from people who I really value, you know, your friendship and your opinions and stuff. Okay, so that was the dark green. Now, number 15 is aqua green. Aqua green. Let's go in with this one. Okay, let's try this. So, let's look here for number 15. Okay, right, there's some here I can see. Oh, this is a pretty colour. The Crayola Super Tips really do have a gorgeous selection of colours. Um, I have the 100 set. And I love them. I absolutely love them. My um, my second set, a lot of them have gone now because they were, you know, I'd used them so much they had run out. I do still have some left. So I'm trying to use up those colours as in where I can. Um, but yeah, I'm into a new box of them now. So when I notice some of these starting to get a little bit dull, I will order another box. I always like to make sure that I have enough, um, you know, that I have Crayola Super Tips because of how frequently I use them. I do need to get back to um, some of my Disney colour by number books actually because I haven't coloured in them for a bit. I'm getting withdrawals from Disney colouring. <laughs> so I need to I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that later, seeing as I've got this super tips out now anyway. We could do that. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So yeah, I will I will get around to replying to comments and things. If if I just click, you know, the heart on your comment, just know that I've read it and I've I've seen it, you know. Um I can't always reply to everyone. I will definitely reply if there's a question aimed at me or you're asking me something specific, then I will reply. If it's just sort of like, you know, thank you for sharing this flip through, um, you know, great video, anything at all like that, then, you know, when I read the comment, I will click the heart button so you know that I have acknowledged, acknowledged it. I like to do that to all my comments, make sure that I've acknowledged them or actioned them if I needed to. <coughs> Okay, so we've got some more 15s here. So let's get those. So we're kind of working on the top of the page now. There's a bit down here of the side of the, the temple down here that we need to get to. But that is the very last colour, which is magenta. So... We will grab that one in a bit. I'm just trying to colour it all in order. So I can see where I am with it all then. We've got some 15s here as well. Okay. sure if I'm going to do the lines on this one the lines all in between I might do I'm thinking if I do I've either got a pento um, gold paint marker but I don't know how much is left in that um, or I've got the, the pento hybrid dual metallic I've got a beautiful I think it's um, orange gel with yellow glitter 
and that is so pretty and I'm just thinking that would look lovely with the colours that we're using here on this so I don't know I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see if I do that that won't be on screen because <laughs> I need to get into all the little all the little spaces so I do like my face kind of right right into the page okay so I think that's it for 15 so no, 16 is light blue light blue light blue okay let's go with this one <clears throat> okay so we're definitely getting into like doing the sky and stuff now so let's work here see because i've got the i've got the page here anyway well you know this side of the page you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah, whether we watch a movie tonight for date night or whether we binge watch some more of The Walking Dead, I don't know. I'd be happy to do either, but like I said earlier, I am loving The Walking Dead. Absolutely loving it. And the thing is as well is that I can look past all the gore and stuff now. And I just, I really like following the characters and getting to know them and their stories and stuff. I've cried a few times, but then this is me, so <laughs> you guys know that usually I am a wimp, but since being with Aaron, I've really kind of, oh, I've missed a 15 here, <clears throat> let's get that one, I've really um, been kind of, you know, watching films with blood and stuff and programs that I would never have dreamed of watching before. Okay, so there's that 15. Right, there was 16. So this is the light blue. Uh, you two, stop it. Stitch! Uh uh. Oh, I've got the cats in here now. Running riot. Stitch and Link. I believe he's just, he's still sat on the arm of the sofa. <laughs> he's just, he's just taking it all in. He's like, hey, carry on. And another 15. Oh my goodness. Missed quite a few, didn't I? So this, the 15 was the aqua green. So let's do that. Good job I kept the pens out that I've used to the side they're all um if I show you they're all here so <clears throat> whoops that's my own fault for whoops for moving the um tripod right I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink so nice you know when you get these pages done and you sit back and look at them and you think wow that actually turned out really pretty you know beautiful colors like i said earlier the color palette that sun life drawing have chosen for the color by numbers in their books is brilliant really really lovely i didn't get to color in all of my sun life drawing books this month um but you guys know that you know, I colour in them every month anyway, so I will get to the others very, very soon. I will be doing a colour and chat from the um the Mosaic Carpet Designs book, the new release <coughs> by Sun Life Drawing. I will be doing a colour and chat from that one. Sun Life was so kind to contact me and ask if they could send me their new book. I was so, you know, just so overwhelmed that 
you know, a company who I love their work, I absolutely love their books, that, you know, they've taken the time out of their day to reach out to me and ask me to, you know, if I'd like to receive one of their books. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'd be honoured. Thank you so much. So, yeah, little old me. <laughs> you guys don't mind this being a longer colour and chat than normal. Okay, it's got some 16s here. So we're still on the pale blue at the moment. You can probably hear the cats in the background ch trilling and chasing each other around. <laughs> Stitch! What are you doing? Stitch! <laughs> I think he's trying to encourage Louis to play. He's sort of rolling around at the bottom of the sofa and Louis's just sort of looking down at him. So just like, what are you doing? <laughs> you are bonkers! Stitch is bonkers, but that's exactly why we love him. And he's just got the most beautiful trill. He trills all the time. It's not even like a it's not even like a proper meow. He he trills. It's just it's such a beautiful noise. It's lovely because you know, all the cats, they've got their own little characters and stuff and it's just so nice. I'd be lost without them. I know lots of you have pets, don't you? I bet we've, you know, we could all sit and share a load of funny stories about our pets, couldn't we? Oh my gosh. We could definitely share quite a few about ours. <laughs> Okay, so some 16s here. <clears throat> I've probably missed more along the way, as I have done, but that's all right. We'll just grab them as we go along. trees. There's quite a few 16s here so we'll get these done. We are making good progress. We're getting there guys. We are getting there. After this one there's six colours left which are blue, dark blue, pink, violet, dark violet and magenta. So we've got some really beautiful colours coming up. I love the pinks and purples. Gorgeous. I think the pinks, purples and greens are my favourite. Okay. So if you have any requests of videos that you would like to see, a certain book you'd like to see me colouring or using a certain medium, let me know. I will write it down and I will get to the video as soon as I can. It may take me a while, but please know that I will get there, I promise. I've still got a few from a while ago that I need to do. Oh, another book I purchased as well, actually, with my um, YouTube pennies. I was requested to colour from Tentacle Kitty, and I had never heard of that book before. I didn't have it in my collection. Anyway, I looked on YouTube, found a flip through, and I was just like, oh my gosh, why have I never seen this book before? It's so cute. So, um, yeah, I've used the money to get that one as well. Um... And I think that's with alcohol markers, if I remember rightly. 
and that's great because um I was surprised at the quality of the book when it came and the pages are single sided as well which is amazing so yeah I'll be doing a colouring chat from that soon I think if I remember rightly I think it was a lady called Caitlin I think if I can remember off the top of my head if I've got that wrong I'm really sorry um but yeah I've got Tentacle Kitty so I will be filming a flip through and then um we'll be doing a colouring chat from that one as requested but that book is so cute I really wanted to colour in it when I received it but I was like no wait to the flip through and the colour and chat first so I'm not sure what page though they're all so cute it's really going to be tricky to to choose which one to colour first out of that for sure okay so now we need blue just like a regular blue color let's go for this one <clears throat> um so that was 16 so now we want number 17 okay 17 okay there's some here let's get these oh that's beautiful this is gorgeous this is like a hmm kind of like a cerulean blue i think is it a cerulean blue i don't think it's quite a cobalt blue uh stitch that is enough you are adorable but you are getting too much at the moment don't <laughs> Give me like that. What you doing? What you doing, Nice? Stitch, I'm watching you. Oh my gosh. It's just yeah, having the cats, it's just like having more kids to be honest. But I made Aaron laugh the other night. I said that Stitch and Link, oh my gosh, when those boys are together, it's like the two Ronnies. It really is. They just, they bounce off each other. And normally, <clears throat> about between 11 and midnight, they get the wind up their butts and then they're sort of darting around the house. They get like a crazy hour. It's, yeah. So last night I had taken my um my medicine to try and help me sleep. And I was trying to settle and then I was like, what is that noise? And I thought maybe I'm I'm falling asleep and I'm sort of in like a dream. But no, they were in the dining room playing with a ball, and it's one of the balls with the bell in the middle. And we have vinyl flooring in the dining room at the minute. So um yeah, that you could hear this ball sort of rolling around everywhere and this bell jingling and oh my gosh. So yeah, they decided that uh, late at night is a, is a good time to play. But they, they play so beautifully together, it's, it is really funny watching them. But sometimes they just get a bit too boisterous. But it's the same as kids, I guess, isn't it? This colour is so pretty. I really, really like this blue. Okay, I've got some more here. I went out with my mum on Monday. And that was so lovely. Really, really nice. We went out, went grocery shopping. Um, picked up Emmy's uh, dressing table for her birthday. Um, and like some birthday cards and the cake and all things like that so yeah I called mum in the morning I was like what are you up to she's like no nothing I've done all my housework got it all done early and I was like you fancy coming out get you out for a bit so yeah it was really really lovely really nice but because I got everything that I wanted to do on Monday it meant I didn't have to go in town on Tuesday which is great because that that is um, a major trigger for my anxiety so I was really glad that um, we didn't have to go in town 
I do still need to go to the post office. I need to post a book for Rachel. Um, I'm so behind with doing that. Okay, number 18 is dark blue. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I need to do that. I need to do that. I need to pull my finger out because I've really been slacking in posting that. But I will get it done. I've been saying that for weeks though. I'm, yeah, pretty crap really. Um, da -da -da -da. 18. Okay, I've got some here. So not many of the dark blues, just a couple. And then 19 is pink. Woohoo! There's quite a lot of 19s by the looks of it. So, yeah, the sky on this one's going to look really pretty, I think, when it's all done. Okay, so now we want 19 we want pink. Let's go for this one. Yeah, that's pretty. We'll do that one. So number 19. I'm going in with this really lovely sort of rose pink kind of colour. Really, really pretty. Okay. Is it Stitch? <coughs> what is it? What you doing? What you doing? Where's Link? Where's Link? He's like, where's everyone gone? I just want to play. <laughs> Bless him. to um just rearrange a few supplies as well because it's just there's a few things that are just not working for me at the minute so i need to do that but i'll um i'll get that done over the weekend once i've done the girls room it's just a case of trial and error i think isn't it when you've got like a little coloring setup it's just figuring out where to put things so that it, it works best for you and it's practical so yeah I mean, my books, I'm really happy with how my books are, so that doesn't need to be touched. My trolley could do with reorganising, I think, because I'm just, yeah, it's not working as much as I would like, but then it may mean shuffling some stuff around on my desk as well, which is fine. That's fine. you doing? I'm watching you. Link is inside the tent now and Stitch is laid just outside and their paws are sort of they're like this but they're touching. Very cute. Link and Stitch are holding paws. <laughs> they are like two little peas in a pod. Stitch is so good with them. You know, even when they were little balls of fluff when we got them, he would always be cleaning them and snuggling up with them, following them around, I guess, making sure they were okay. Yeah, he's he's such a loving cat. It's, it's really nice to watch. You know, Louis just, he likes a quiet life, so he keeps his distance. Like I said earlier, he just likes to curl up on the sofa and just enjoy the peace and quiet. And when the others are playing, he just sits and watches. Unless they decide to bounce on him like they did the other day and I think that's how it all kind of kicked off. 
they were trying to get Louis involved and he just didn't want to. He's, he's just not that kind of cat. He's, he's really not. He's just he's very quiet. He doesn't like all the noise and boisterousness and stuff. I sat down here with him last night. Um, everyone was in bed, so it was quite late. And um, yeah, he was curled up on the sofa, so I came and sat down with him for a bit and had a cuddle. And he was paring his little head off. It was so cute. So I had a snuggle with Louie before I got into bed. Okay, we are making really good progress. <clears throat> We're getting there, aren't we? We really are. Like I said, there's lots of number 19s. What time are we on? An hour 20, oh my goodness. You do not have to watch all of this video in one go. <laughs> You can pause it and come back to it as and when you want. It's entirely up to you, my lovelies. Okay, so let's see over here. Okay, so it's got some 19s here. I think this is going to look like a really pretty, kind of like a beautiful sunset when we're done. I think it'll look lovely. Like I said, these are all my, my favourite colours in this colour palette that are coming up now. I think I could have gone lighter with the um the aqua green. I should have chosen a lighter one but that's alright. It works. Okay. Oops. So yeah, I hope that, you know, for those of you who've been asking about super tips, I hope this is giving you just, you know, a rough idea how I use them in my Sun Life drawing books. So as not to peel the paper. And I have got a protective sheet behind because even though they're water-based markers, they do still bleed through. So I don't want any of that transferring onto my next image. So I have got a sheet of printer paper, um, or a couple sheets actually. Of printer paper in behind so we have that I need to get out my gel pens as well and color something with those soon I want to get like him it's like a carousel but it's like, like a lazy susan so you kind of you it turns um i want to get something like that to put my gel pens in because at the minute they're just in like a little plastic a little plastic tub a little plastic container and i i want to put them in like color color groups um so it'll be a lot easier than trying to dig through a container to find the color that i want so I want to get something like that, storage-wise, but I've not found anything quite right at the minute. Just making sure that I'm in frame. We are so nearly done. Woohoo! <laughs> the Statler markers, they work really nicely in these books too. Um, either the Statler Tri Plus Colour or Statler 326s. Um, I've used both of those and they work really nicely. On this paper as well so if you have those or are looking for a different water-based marker to try 
then I recommend those. They're really, really lovely markers. The colours are beautiful. They're easy to hold. And they're just really, really nice markers. So I would highly recommend. I've gone quiet now. Maybe I've just done all my chit-chatting for the day. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It gives your ears a break, doesn't it? From me just waffling on about anything and everything. Okay, we are done with the 19s. So now we want 20, which is violet. Let's go. Let's see, what's this one? Okay, that'll work work so we've got some 20s here see it looks a lot lighter on paper when I'm scribbling on the printer paper that's all right Twenty. it's just a case of um looking through now and just finding you know finding those numbers and getting them filled in. This has definitely made me want to pull out my um my Disney colour by numbers. So I think I'll put a couple of those up on my cart next to my bed tonight. I always um change out my cart every couple of days upstairs. So that when I've got like, pages I've completed up there, I'll bring those books down. If there's anything I want to colour that I think I can colour of an evening when everyone's settled, you know, I'll take that book upstairs and then choose something I want to colour with and just, yeah, chop and change. But I just want to better organise my trolley that stays down here. <clears throat> the one I've got here in the living room is mint green. Really, really pretty. And then I've got a rose gold one up in the bedroom. Once the dining room is changed into a work room for me um, and like a home office kind of thing, once that is done, then I will put the rose gold trolley in there and the mint green one will go up the stairs next to my bed. So we'll do that because I want to do grey and rose gold like dusky pinks in the dining room I don't think Aaron's too keen on the colour palette but I think it would look lovely I think it would look really pretty and I want to get another white desk but just a, just a plain white you know rectangular desk So the kids have got somewhere to sit and, you know, do their homework. Emmy's got somewhere to sit and colour if we do go ahead with that channel. You know, she can have a desk right next to mine. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> I've got it all planned out in my head how I want the room to look. It's just you know doing it and getting there but like anything you know when Aaron says it just it takes time but we'll get there slowly but surely okay we are nearly done guys nearly done sorry you can hear Aaron <laughs> belching <laughs> charming right Okay, we've got some more 20s here, so let's get those, and then after this we've got two colours left and we are done. Oh, sounds like someone outside has got a new horn on their car. <laughs> okay. This violet is looking really pretty. 
especially next to the pink, it really does look lovely. All right, darling. Are they okay? What are they having? Nice. Lovely. Right. Yum yum. Oh, okay, I'll um, I'm nearly done with this video, and then I'll stop. We'll have dinner, and then I'll quickly do the um, completed pages video. All right, darling. See you in a bit. I love you. Bless him. I appreciate Aaron so much. He's, you know, he got the kids from school. He's come home. He's doing them their dinner. All while I'm sat catching up on videos. Bless him. I know. I'm soppy, but I, you know, I really, I never thought that I would ever get the chance to settle down. You know. But I'm so happy and content now and, you know, it's just, it's really lovely. Really, really lovely. Aaron, me, the kids, we're all really happy. And we just, we all just gel and work together really well, you know, as a unit. It's just, I feel really lucky. I feel really, really, really blessed. So, yeah, he's... He's an amazing man. I'm very, very lucky. Okay. Oh, we've missed some twenties here. See, it's me going off on a soppy tangent. <laughs> and I'm missing some. Good job I still have the marker in my hand. Okay. Some here. I think we've got dark violet next for number 21 yeah yeah dark violet that's the thing I don't know about you guys but I find when you know you're working in in some life drawing books for a while you, you get to know what number is which color <laughs> So, yeah, it's nice. Ooh, that's pretty. I'll go with that one. So 21 is dark violet. So we'll do these. I think I am going to try the lines on this one with that um, orange and yellow dual metallic. But I'll do that. I'll do that off screen. This is quite similar to the violet actually, but you can see a difference, it's fine. Some of the lines are a little bit wobbly. Oops. So if you have any Sun Life drawing books, do you have a favourite? I completed the um, Animal Mosaic colour by number. I completed that one so that's my second ever completed colouring book. I'd really like to finish the um, the art animal stencils one, one colour animal stencils. I'd really like to finish that book next because that is just mindless colouring. It's perfect. It really is great. And I've coloured a lot in that one. And I, I do, with Sun Life drawing books as well, I go through them in order. Okay. 
just because I, I love them so much and it's hard to choose a page because <laughs> they're all so nice so I just think right just do like you know starting the book front to back start to finish and do it that way stitch <laughs> he's stalking link Over here, lots of scuffling in a minute. <laughs> it's the boys playing. Bless them. The kids are all quiet and chilled out. Bless them. I'm gonna finish this. Go give them big kisses and cuddles. Cause I always miss them when they're at school. I'm gonna spend some time with them. Before Aaron and I have our dinner and do our date night and stuff. But it's nice because, you know, we don't have to leave the house. Um, and just, you know, and just get something nice for dinner. And we're, you know, we're with the kids so we know that they're fine and they're safe and they're in the comfort of their own home. So, it's all good. It's all good. And, you know, Aaron understands my anxiety so well, bless him. He's so understanding about it. Okay, so now we are on number 22, which is magenta. So I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. So we are pretty much done. Just doing the side of this um, this temple or building. I don't know what it is. If you know what this is, could you let me know? Please. I'm not sure. Aaron's normally really good with stuff like this as well. And he enjoys like history programs. He absolutely loves it. And he's really knowledgeable, but he wasn't he wasn't sure about about this. I wasn't sure, you know, what landmark or whatever it is. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. So we've just got these few to do and then we are done. We'll zoom out and have a look at the picture together and see what we've got. See how it looks all together. Okay, these two bottom sections, this one, oh my goodness, my stomach's grumbling now, <laughs> good timing, good timing, my stomach's grumbling and I need a wee, <laughs> sorry, TMI, TMI. It said give Caden a game on Mario Kart 8 as well. So I can do that while, while his dinner is cooking. Right, we are done. Let me zoom out. Let's see what we've got. Here we go. Let's move that page out of the way. So here we go, guys. This is what we've got. I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. It looks lovely. And I love the colours up here in the sky as well. 
oh we are done so that is it this is it for hashtag sun life drawing in february i really hope that you've enjoyed this color along this month and again for those of you who have participated thank you so much it means the world um as i said before my lovelies i will link lisa's channel down below so you can go and check her out um, I will also put a link there for Nikki and Niagara. I will put a link there for her channel as well. So this is it. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you've had fun. Thank you for keeping me company while I finished this off. And I will see you in my next video. As always, guys, lots of love. Mwah. Take care. Bye.